What's up, Kansas City? I'm Oprah Brown. I'm here with Gavorgio and Kyle, the guys from Controlled Substance. Hey guys, how are you? Right. <laughs> Smile, laugh a little bit, guys. Okay, so I want to know what exactly is controlled substance? Like, what is it? Controlled substance is basically a meaning of success. It's pretty much saying that success is a drug. So, in a nutshell, it's pretty much saying basically how a drug, how a drug addict goes after their fix. It's pretty much how you should be as far as being successful. So, by any means, just go after what you want at all costs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's just basically like like you said. It's a uh, you know. Addicted to success is kind of our kind of our slogan. So you know, uh, like you said, the way an addict goes after that next high, mm. the way an addict goes after you know, by any means necessary. That's you know, that's kind of how we want you to to go after your success. You know, whether it be school, whether it be sports, whether it be work, whatever your whatever your definition of success is, that's how we want. So is it just like a a men male clothes or no. you guys make women's clothes? We make women's clothes. We, we make right. women's clothes. We so, uh, got mm -hmm. a lot of girls that. Pretty much check this in and tell us to get get girl stuff. So we got some girl shirts and stuff. Now. Okay, mm -hmm. so so like I always thought control. I thought it was like some type of drug. Like so, you guys did explain it. Yeah. It is kind of like being addicted to it's success. Not a, it's not know? a drug. Exactly. It's a lifestyle. Lifestyly. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, so how did you guys meet? How did this well, happen? <laughs> well, I started it back in. The, well, it's been a long time coming, but I started doing it a while back, and uh, it was supposed to be me and something that my cousin were in talks to doing. Uh, he passed away and I was just in a real bad place for a few years or whatever, but then I just kinda, you know, got up and was like, you know what, it's something that I really wanted to do. People always thought I would do it in high school. And uh, you know, I put out the first shirt like in December of two thousand twelve and everybody was, you know, talking about it and it was just like, you know, well hey you got you got more stuff and it was just me at the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, it was just you don't have a team, you can't really get right. far. So uh, just over time, it just got bigger and bigger. I met them. We all chopped it up. It was pretty much, uh, you know, we all clicked, and you know, it worked. And you know, at, with the help of them, it's been pretty. It's been doing really well. Mm -hmm. So, so like, is a third person, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Matt, uh, but he's sick. Okay. So yeah, he, he didn't want y'all to get sick. Hope you get better, Matt. <laughs> so like, what what role do you guys each play? Um, it's pretty much like. Everything we we pretty much handle everything, but uh, for the most part, we all do promotions. We all do, you know. Matt pretty much take care of the care of the finance mm -hmm. and everything. So it's like pretty much <laughs> nothing gets money. by Matt. So <laughs> yeah. you know he does that, and we pretty much you know do branding promoting. Kyle's pretty much the person who's going around talking to people, and you know, I'm pretty much doing everything and trying to keep my in and out of pots. So I, you know we don't all know what's going on. Okay, so can you guys be found in stores? We yeah, we're actually in a West Side Story right now. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually have our own. We, we sell our clothes online as well mm -hmm. at uh, www.controlsubstance.com. And uh, we're just looking to get it into other stores out in the local area and as in other big stores too. So, so you guys trying to branch off into other cities? Oh, so, definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So if you could explain like what type of genre your clothes is, like music, what type of genre would you say it is? Uh... <laughs> I mean, it's 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 pretty much everything. I mean, I I don't even listen to just one genre. Mm -hmm. music. So I mean, it's pretty much a, influenced by everything, whether, whether it's rap, pop, hip hop, mm -hmm. R and B, some classical rock, everything. You know what I mean? It's pretty much a it's, it, it it goes with everything. It's not so much as a specific type of, mm -hmm. of brand. I mean, yeah, you can call it streetwear, but I mean, it, it's it's not something where it's gonna be so much more than that. It's just something where it's it's simple. I don't mm -hmm. really like to go out of my lane and and you know, doing every everybody else. I like to do me. So. Right. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have any like events coming up for your clothes line? Uh yeah, we have uh we have a pop up shop on April twenty eighth, uh at Gusto with five oh four Westport Road. Uh we have a uh, our one year birthday will be in June. Mm -hmm. We're negotiating so we'll keep you posted on that. Um as of right now, those are the only ones that we're able to talk about. Mm -hmm. But um, we have a few more coming up as well. Have you guys been in any fashion shows or? Uh, no, we haven't been any in any fashion shows. We actually just had an event at West Side Story mm -hmm. Friday, April fourth, and uh, we did really good there. Um, as far as fashion shows, we're we're in talks with some people. We also, I'm sorry, we also have another event coming up May sixteenth at Tango Cantina 
on day. May 16th, that's a Friday. Cool. And so yeah, we'll have that as going on. So that's kind of like our own little fashion show type deal. So so for those who don't know what West Side Story is, could you kind of go into detail about where that's located? It is, it's located, uh, it's actually located down at 1701 Summit Street, um, Kansas City. It's uh, not too far down from uh, from Power and Light area, that, that you know, that general region. Um, it's uh, basically, I mean, it's really, it, it started out as a uh, more of an antique shop, um, kind of, you know, he wanted to bring in kind of that, you know, that kind of mm -hmm. hipster feel, you know, that sort of thing. But uh, he's actually going more towards, uh, more towards the retail end of it, trying to get some local Kansas City brands in there. Um, so, I mean, it's just kind of, you know, he's kind of tur turning it around, kind of experimenting with it. And, uh, I mean, it's really, it's, it's, it's a cool feel. It's, it's an awesome, uh, awesome uh, environment over there. You know, it's uh, kind of got a different vibe to it. So, so it's like fashion, you guys' passion? Uh, I, I would say <laughs> I, I've always been into clothes. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's been something that pretty much, you know, from a kid, my mom always instilled in me. So, it's just being clean. Right. I don't know, you know, it's, it don't even have to, it doesn't even have to be that much money. It's like, it's, as long as you feel good and you're confident in it, it pretty much goes without saying. So it's always been something in me. But no, I, I, I do really like, you know, high-end fashion, mm -hmm. low-end, anything, you know what I mean? Right. If, if I like it, I like it. Right. Right. Absolutely, absolutely. It's, I mean, I took you know it, uh, throughout throughout sports and everything. You know, I kind of live by that look good, feel good, play good <laughs> mentality. So I mean, it's the same same with fashion. You know, it, when you're going out, if you look good, you're gonna feel good. I mean, it's gonna be a good night. So. So outside of control substance, what do you guys do? Um, <laughs> I mean, pretty much this is it. I, I mean, I have a job, of course. Right. But, uh, I think this is more so. The job that I actually like. So yeah. I'm gonna talk about <laughs> no, absolutely. Um, I actually just I just finished up uh, playing college football. Um, me and my brother who who couldn't be here today. Uh, but um, we both just finished up playing college football. So now we're uh, we're actually training as well as doing this. Um, you know, for the next level. So I mean, that's uh, obviously. I mean, just just like control substance, how you want to chase your dreams, go after it with everything you've got. That's that's kind of what we're doing. So. All right. Is there any message you guys want to get out to Kansas City? Uh, I mean, we, we really appreciate the support this far. And, uh, I mean, we've gotten a lot of positive feedback on the stuff mm -hmm. that we do, and we just want to show you guys that, you know, it's more in store. Uh, just, you know, special thanks. Uh, we actually have a, a, a collaborative uh, brand or, in a sense, a collaborative mm -hmm. brand with other brands from Kansas City that's local artists like uh, Relaced, um, Ocean and Sea, mm -hmm. Self Made, um, am I forgetting some Rescue, uh, so yeah, we we have a pretty big following with all of them. It's called No Coast Collective, and uh, hopefully you guys hear more about that soon too. But yes, I mean it's pretty dope that all of us are from here and we're all working together, and you know it's it's just been a blessing, man. Yeah. I mean before we go into Kansas City, and we're gonna show them your clothes. Is there anything else you want to say to Kansas City? Um, I mean it's just I, I mean big things are to come. I mean we uh, we're going in the right direction. Um, stay on the lookout for uh, you know what we got coming on so without further ado we're going to give you guys a display of what control substance looks like slap that All right, Kansas City, that was a look at Control Substance, and they're actually wearing their clothes today. So, Gavorjo, do you want to explain what this shirt is and what it says? Uh, and this is just, uh, <laughs> this is one of our shirts. It's called Never, Never Be Royalty. Pretty much it was just kind of a, a Kansas City feel. Uh, I don't know, we just kind of, you know, music influenced it, but it was something that was so simple in Kansas City that we had to do it. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Never Be Royalty, and it's, yeah. 
And then uh, this one is actually the uh, the drugs and kisses tea. Um, it's kind of kind of encompasses the whole the whole field behind the uh, you know basically our uh, our our slogan kind of you know go after uh, go after your your success addicted to success. So um, you know we want to do something that kind of encompassed um, you know that whole thing. You know obviously you got the pill on there. Some people think it's a microphone. It's <laughs> it's actually a pill. Uh, so you know uh, but I mean yeah like I said it's. Uh, it's, I mean, it just kind of encompasses the whole thing, so. Yeah. Okay. So you guys have any um, sales or specials going on for you guys' clothes? I really like them. Uh, we do. We do have uh, some specials going on. If they go to our website, www.controlsubstance.com, uh, you'll see. We do have some items on sale. And then uh, also, we always, uh, we, we always, like, let people know on our Instagram. So if they follow us at Control Substance or our own personal Instagrams, which they'll find on our links in Control Substance uh, Instagram page, mm -hmm. Uh, they'll see that we offer sales to some of our followers. Sometimes we just do it to like secret followers, send them through text or direct message. So be on the lookout for those too. All right. And is there any other um, social media outlets you guys may be on? There is. We also have a uh, we have a Facebook page as well, uh, Control Substance. Um, it's on there as well. Uh, it's a like page, so uh, you can check us out on there. We always put our stuff on there as well. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's got our our link to our website and everything there as well. So. All right. Well, Kansas City, this is Control Substance, and don't forget to check out other videos at whatsupkansascity.net. I'm Oprah Brown. Follow me on Twitter at Oprah Brown. Salute. <laughs> What's up, Kansas City? I'm Brianna Garlington. I'm Charles Williams. And I'm Derek Parker. And we are CMG. And we would like to welcome you to follow both websites. That's whatsupkansascity.net and cascadesports.tv. Some of our programs consist of Are You Awoke? Coach's Corner, and many more interviews, news, and blogs. Be sure to like our Facebook page and follow us on Instagram at Cascade Media Group and Twitter at What's Up KC and Cascade Sports. And remember, the victory we call success goes to the best prepared. And when you invest in your community, you are really just investing in yourself. So don't just like it, share it.